Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of August 9, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological week. One of the key signatures of this week is, on the one hand, some pretty intense and surprising squares that are set to take place. Now, squares are a type of conversation that planets will have, and it is a conversation of tension, but also motivation as well. And irritation and frustration is part of what I'm seeing here. And it is going to be at the end of the week that Uranus is going to go retrograde. This is a really big deal as a planet slows down and stands still in the sky, preparing to change directions. It is at the height of its power, which means surprises are going to be taking place for a whole lot of us. Now, before I dive into this week, I just want to put things into a little bit of perspective because some of the energy this week is tiring. Like I said, shocking as well. But it will be next week that we've got trines, we've got sextiles, which are all harmonious connections and conversations that take place between planets. It is next week that we are also going to have a new moon uh, that is hopeful, that is energizing in the best possible sense. That new moon that happens next week is going to show us that the Mars retrograde season doesn't have to be all bad, okay? So we do have that to look forward to. So I hope that that puts this week into context. And now let's dive in. So let's start with the first important alliance to take place in the sky this week, which happens right around Monday. And that is Mercury speaking to Uranus in a square configuration. Now, Uranus is an energy of surprise. It is an energy of awareness and epiphany. And it is Mercury that has to do with information and conversations. Mercury right now is moving through the sign of Leo. And Leo is an energy that has to do with the rulers and the celebrities and whom it is that we're paying attention to, the performers of the world. Mercury itself is having to do with media and what we are talking about, what we're thinking about as well. On a very immediate surface level, it may very well be that conversations, communications take us by surprise. They may shock us. In our own personal life, we may find ourselves uh, having reunions with people where we least expected it. Uh, finding ourselves questioning our own sense of specialness as part of this energy. And it may also be the case that communications go left very quickly. They may go haywire very quickly as well. On a more collective scale, this can be very surprising news coming out, having to do with someone uh, who is in the public eye in some way that feels especially surprising, especially shocking. Uranus, of course, is moving through the sign of Taurus. This has to do with finances, it has to do with the finer things in life as well. And so some of this news may be connected to this person's financial situation. Now, regardless of what it is that does transpire, the thing that we need to remember as we move through this week is how important it is to be kind and gentle as we interact with others because something seemingly innocent can provoke very strong reactions. This is also energy of the very surprising uh, Freudian slip. So what a Freudian slip is, is when it is that you may say something kind of offhand uh, or just reacting to a particular moment and it actually ends up being very revealing and says a lot about what's happening in your psyche, about what you believe. And it is in observing our own Freudian slips that we get to learn a whole lot about ourselves. But when it is that we are having them in front of others, that we say something, an offhanded remark, or we make a little joke, and especially where it is that we're making self-deprecating jokes, those can be very revealing as well as to what is happening within us, what it is that we really believe. So we may surprise ourselves, by demonstrating one of these Freudian slips. And we may also observe them in other people. But of course, this is pushing buttons. This is people feeling like you say something and it may be offhand and it may be very innocent, but they take it 
in a different way and may have a very strong reaction that feels like it's come out of nowhere. Whether it is innocent, whether it is that we knew we were saying something that would kind of hit a certain spot, still the reaction can be quite uh, pronounced. The thing is though, this reaction isn't only because of this Mercury-Uranus configuration. It's also because on Thursday, we are going to have Mars squaring Pluto. Now, this is a big deal. This is the first of three exact alignments these planets are going to have as part of the larger Mars retrograde season. And this is probably one of the more tough alignments that these planets are going to have. Um, both are rulers of the sign of Scorpio. So if you think about the sign of Scorpio, in its higher understanding, it has to do with transformation, regeneration. It has to do with profound honesty, being able to see through illusions or facades that we sometimes put up and to understand what's happening at the core of a situation with the intention of creating meaningful transformation. Well, this is one of the higher understandings of this sign. But of course, the flip side, the other side of this energy, it has to do with manipulation, uh, intense emotions, perhaps skewed emotional perspectives as well. And it is this range that we get to choose from. And what that choice will be for us will be very much on the surface as this alignment becomes more precise. And this is going to be part of our ongoing learning in at least one area of life for all of us as we navigate this period forward. And so Mars is the traditional ruler of Scorpio. Pluto is the modern ruler of Scorpio. Um, it is this configuration in and of itself that does suggest power struggles, power games, having to look at the limits of our own personal power, perhaps even feeling frustrated, wanting transformation, wanting meaningful change, but feeling as if perhaps our best efforts are not giving us the outcomes that we want. It is about pouring a whole lot of energy, even intense emotional energy in a given direction without necessarily feeling like we're making gains right away. The thing is though that no effort is ever wasted and the gains will come, the gains will be there. It's just that as part of this larger Mars retrograde season, that may be an ongoing feeling that is taking place. And what Mars asks us to do is to take action, to take some step to move ourselves forward, to own the power we do have, to surrender whatever it is that we don't have power over, and to understand that as a course of wisdom. And in so doing, ultimately, we are able to move forward and make progress where it is that we have some measure of control. Well, when it is that Pluto is squaring Mars, it may feel very hard to recognize where it is that we have control. It may feel like circumstances are less than ideal, or perhaps something that really shouldn't take as much energy as it's taking. Uh, is presenting itself to us and we're having to give our all or we're having to give a, a measure of focus towards an outcome we're desiring. And yet it is in the endeavor itself that we learn a tremendous amount about ourselves. It is this Mars retrograde season that is going to teach each of us in our own unique ways some very powerful lessons of empowerment, of surrender, that will stay with us well after this Mars retrograde season is over, if not for the rest of our lives, we are being shown what we are willing to fight for, what is worth fighting for, and what it is that we're willing to surrender, what it is that we're willing to truly and honestly give ourselves to, and what it is, if we're really honest with ourselves, isn't what we want to be giving ourselves to isn't where we want to be pouring our energy after all. If Mars is anything, it is honest. And it is this Mars retrograde season that is encouraging us in different ways, because we have a few different uh, planets involved in this ongoing dance, but in different ways, we are each being asked to be more bravely and brazenly 
honest with ourselves. And in so doing, we are able to direct our very powerful and very precious energy that much more wisely. Now it will be at the very end of the week that Uranus will go retro. Uranus goes retrograde. This is exciting, sure, but it's also surprising. Whenever it is that a planet is changing directions, its energies are that much more magnified. We feel it that much more. That is gonna be the case now. As we begin the week, Uranus has already slowed down and is slowing right down more and more as we get to the end of the week to a standstill, officially going retrograde. And it's gonna be retrograde to the end of the year, into next year as well. Won't go direct until we enter 2021. And when a planet goes retrograde, its energies become more reflective. They become directed inward that much more. Uh, it is a retrograde planet that invites us to consider how it is that we're using this energy to ensure we like how it is we're directing this energy. Uranus is an energy of change, but it's different than Pluto, right? It's uh, not the type of intensity of Pluto and especially Pluto connecting with Mars but it has an intensity of its own. It is energy of truth and enlightenment and epiphany. This is uh, the quintessential light bulb moment all of us are gonna be having in at least one area of life. The sense of things becoming clear very quickly. It may be through our own actions and how we behave that we find that level of understanding or that level of honesty with ourselves, but it may also be in relation to external circumstances. But it will be once we have that epiphany moment, we see things how they actually are, we're seeing through our own emotional intense desires which is what mars square pluto is going to bring up right to the surface we see through any illusion which already is being cracked thanks to mars square pluto we're able to see through it in an instant uranus was the god of thunder now think about what happens during thunder it's these bursts of light that we see in the night, in the dark. And it is these cracks of light that can make everything look different, everything look clear in a split second. But what we also have very often with thunder is that we have rain. And rain is a symbol of nourishment, nourishing the earth. And so yes, Uranus can be shocking, it can be surprising, but it is ultimately part of what will lend itself to a deeper sense of getting what it is that we truly need to be nourished. Now on the world stage, if you put these energies together, it is quite pronounced how this could play out. It is Mars and Pluto that do suggest that power struggle and the intensity of that, the insecurity of that. Now with Uranus, there's this energy of things moving very quickly, an energy of truth, of in an instant, a split second, seeing ourselves differently, seeing our circumstances differently, realizing what needs to change, what must change right now, uh, putting down what it is that has felt like a burden so that we can be more free. It is Uranus that relates to authenticity. And so in our own lives, we may have a moment of clarity that ultimately aligns us with a greater sense of being authentic for ourselves and in the world. On a world stage, we may see some very dramatic examples of this, and we may see people in masses uh, making statements as such as to what it is that they feel that they need to feel a greater sense of being able to be their authentic selves in the world. Uranus is an energy or, or rather a symbol of equality, of um, more human rights for more people. And so as Uranus is changing directions, like as we get to the end of the week, this energy, this desire is going to be very strong. But once Uranus goes retrograde, it becomes that much more personal. The energy turns inward and we start asking ourselves more reflective, more deeper questions as to what it is that we need on a level of heart, on a level of soul in particular, so that we can actually 
be our authentic selves and truly know what freedom is in the healthiest sense. When a planet goes retrograde, symbolically, it's said that its energy has become weaker, but I don't think of it so much as weaker. I think of it more as personalized. This is about being the change, integrating the change in your heart and soul that you wish to see in the world. What I love about this week for us, well, look, it is a powerful time. There is surprising news that is set to find us in the early part of the week. And as we navigate later in the week, the energy does become more intense. And while there is frustration, there's also the promise of freedom, of excitement, of seeing things clearly and being freed of the burdens that we no longer need. This is the promise of a fresh perspective that ultimately gives us full permission to truly be ourselves authentically in the world. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. All of it means so much. And of course, if you wanna know how all this wonderful stuff speaks to you and your sign this week, log on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Now, speaking of special horoscopes, Mars special horoscopes are up on my website for download at nadiashaw.com. As I said, they are available to superstars as part of your superstar membership. And these Mars retrograde season special horoscopes, well, they go through all the different aspects and time frames uh, that Mars will be journeying through and connecting with, including this very week, including what's happening right about now with Mars squaring Pluto. So if you wanna know how that's speaking to you right now, this very intense energy, then log on to my website, nadiashaw.com, and you can download the Mars Retrograde Special Season Special Horoscope for your sign, or sign up to be a superstar, and you get instant access to those videos as well. Synchronicity University is right around the corner, and you can choose your own tuition rate for some incredible classes for a limited time only, and a limited number of scholarships are available as well. And so what makes this upcoming autumn session of Synchronicity University so special? Well, it is broken up into two parts and there are fully four tarot classes, tarot for astrologers. Now, if you haven't yet had a look at my tarot video looking at August, I will link to it in the description below. But it is this class and these classes that will take you through the major arcana and the minor arcana and explore their astrological symbolism as we learn more about what these cards represent. Um, I think that these classes are gonna be so fun, so informative. There's a lot of enthusiasm for them as well. Lots of people have been signing up. I think we're gonna have one of the biggest groups I've ever had for Synchronicity University uh, coming up in the autumn session. So I'm really looking forward to getting to know everybody and sharing my love of tarot with you. We're also gonna have two classes on Lilith. So we're gonna be looking at Lilith in the astrology chart, very popular topic. A lot of people have been asking me about that. Two classes on the moon in the astrology chart, very important. And two classes on Mercury as well. So we've got this great balance for people who are uh, new to astrology and they want to understand some key placements in their chart or whether it is that you've been an astrologer for a while but you want to understand the foundations more deeply and from my perspective, or if it is that you just wanna learn some tarot and you want to deepen your tarot practice, regardless of where you fall on that spectrum, you are very welcome to join us. Links are in the description below and I look forward, I'm so looking forward to the autumn session of Synchronicity University.
Now I have got books. I've got a few books available for you. I have got Astrology Realized. This is the very first book that I wrote. Uh, you can find it wherever books are sold. I've also got Prayers to the Sky and The Body and the Cosmos right here. So these two books also available wherever books are sold. Uh, these two books uh, debuted as number one new releases in New Age Astrology uh, when they first were given to the world. Thank you so much for that. I'm so glad that these books continue to resonate with so many people. And my upcoming book is The Universe is Wise and Loving. Now, this book is being published August 22nd. You can pre-order the ebook version on Amazon. And if you forward us the receipt, then on the day it launches, you will get free gifts valued at $70. So I think Amazon right now has this available for just over $7 as an ebook. You purchase that, you're gonna get two uh, videos. One looks at uh, our current change from the Cancer Capricorn nodal axis and into the Gemini Sagittarius axis and what that means for you in your sign. And the other class looks at uh, understanding the ruling planet of your north node in the chart and what that means for you on august 22nd when the book is released that is the official launch date of the book um, hard copy versions will be available as well so it isn't uh, that the hard copy isn't going to be there it's just that to pre-order it is only the ebook version that is available uh, regardless though you get the free gifts if you order uh, by the 20th of August. So you've got a pre-order to get those free gifts. But I hope that you love them. And remember, you have to forward us the receipt before August 20th if uh, you're gonna be put on the list to get those free gifts on launch date, August 22nd, coming up really soon. And finally, two announcements. One is my incredible partnership with Cosmogram. Uh, you can get my interpretation of your unique birth chart delivered to your email within hours of purchase. All you have to do is visit the link in the description below. That's gonna take you to a page on the Cosmogram website. There you will enter in your birth data and within hours you will be sent an email PDF download for you to read and enjoy forever and ever. Now that download has my interpretations of the different planetary placements in your unique birth chart. If you click on that link, you'll get to see a sample so you know exactly what it is that you are going to get as part of the report. And this report has my perception i think that really is key if you like my interpretation of the sky then i do believe that you may like and enjoy for a very long time my interpretation of your unique birth chart it has gotten so much amazing feedback and uh, so many of you have continued to purchase these for yourself and for others and for that i am so grateful i'm so grateful for your trust i'm so grateful for your enthusiasm for your love thank you so much and please visit my sponsor, Intention Beads. They make incredible talismanic, hand-painted uh, jewelry. And I have a couple of pieces myself. They are in Canada, where I keep a lot of things safe in a bedroom in my parents' house. Uh, but really, truly beautiful, very special jewelry. Uh, the woman behind Intention Beads, Sandy, is a friend of mine. Uh, and she really has this very beautiful energy as well. So check out the links in the description below to learn more and to get one of your own pieces from Intention Beats. And thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your trust in my interpretation of the sky. I truly do enjoy this moment with you. It is such a privilege. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.